What's up guys, Celestia here again, back with another guide. This is just like a quick little guide for the Glide the Chocobo minigame, because I know a few people have trouble with this. I'm just going to show all three trials, even though the first one is like the simplest one ever. Just in case people are having trouble with how the Chocobo controls. I remember when I first played this, I was like, why is the Chocobo just dropping out of the air? Because I didn't know you have to hold R2. But yeah, pretty easy. First one is literally just hold R2 and just glide through the rings and just get the points. Pretty easy this one and also when you do this you get Yuffie's Crescent Sickle Weapon which is actually really good. You can also buy it if you miss this out but it's better to just do this. this so hold down R2 and just start gliding. This one is very straightforward, you literally do not need to move any anything on the sticks. You just glide through them. I'm just doing this just to kind of make it a little bit quicker, like sometimes maybe gliding down a tiny bit. But I remember when I first did this, I was expecting the Chocobo to go flying really fast, but <laughs> this one's the slowest one. You just let the game kind of take you where you want to go. So just casually glide through every single one of these. No need to rush. We're not in a time trial, we're just in a points trial here. You want to maybe glide down a tiny bit just to reach this one, if you went a little bit too high. This one you should be able to catch, but if you're unsure, just glide down a tiny bit. As you see, my feet just catch it. This one looks like you're going to hit it, so you'll be fine. And then you want to boost yourself up with these wind things. And then all we're doing is just gliding a straight line. And then glide down a tiny bit just to get that one. Glide down a tiny bit just in case you're unsure. And then glide down more just to get to this one. But make sure you stay at a height because you need to glide here and then release when you're above the two 500s. Just like that. The Chocobo drops like a brick. So no need to worry about him gliding off if you, if you release it a little bit too late. As soon as you release R2, they pretty much drop. So that's the first one done. Good thing is they're all pretty much in the same area. So you just want to make sure that you... Go to kind of where the inn is, where you find the chocobos in the first place, and you can navigate around there. That's where all the three trials are. So this is where the second one is. You need to run back a little bit if you fast travel. So it's just down here to the left. You can run past the enemies. Unless you want some free XP, but if you're you're like me, you've, you're max level, so you don't really have any, any need for XP or AP or anything like that. So then we just trigger this, and we start a flying. Not really many good rewards from this one, but you need to do it for Johnny's side quest. So make sure you get them all done properly. So no rhythm to this here. Some of the ones you need to time it when you're starting, but this one you just hold R2 and get going. And just kind of follow this one so you can glide through it. Same with the other one, it will come back. So you don't want to go to the left, you want to kind of meet it in the middle. Same with this one as well, it's going to move back before you can get to it. And if you guys don't know how the dive in this works, you hold both sticks down and then to pull yourself up, you pull them back up and it gives you a lot of height, so you make sure you use them. So try and get to the bottom of that part and then pull the stick up at the right point and then we're just going to be here enough to get these. And then we're going to glide back up and we're going to fly all the way back up. You could make that a little less dicey and glide back up kind of halfway up the circle instead of like that because that was very close to being a failure. But once you get on the wind things you're basically at max height again so it resets you which is great. So then we dive down a little bit just to grab that and then we dive all the way down and pull ourselves back up right to the top. The only annoying thing is about pulling yourself back up, you don't really see anything. So don't glide down too far, because we need to make sure we're at the height to drop here. And then we just drop again. And there we go, that's another 7200 points, and max points for that one too. The last one is the hardest one, because it, it's like almost pixel perfect when it comes to the last points. Because your chocobo glides really fast down the way, if you're, you're just kind of gliding horizontally. So yeah, I will show you that one now. So the third one's basically in the same place, just a little bit further down, just right next to where the Chocobo Ranch is, just on the opposite side. And when we get there, 
just run straight ahead. Don't do what I do here and run to the right. <laughs> you want to make sure you run straight ahead because there's no way to get up here. So yes, run straight ahead and go up the stairs. And that's it here. And this one is the hardest one, but I'll show you like a, a sort of foolproof method to do it. Right, so when you hold R2, you want to do it right now. So just as they pass each other. So you can fly through both at the same time. This is the only one that requires timing to start. And easy as that, you get both of them. You need to get every single one of these, by the way, to get the, the third rank. So we don't do any diving here. We just glide along. But as you can see, your chocobo is actually falling quite fast here, which is what makes the hardest part at the end because it's really hard to get the last two of them for the 500 and 500 points. So here we're not gliding down yet. We will glide down when we get above these. So glide down as fast as possible and then pull yourself back up when you get to the last one, which is right here. So try and pull yourself back up just as you get to the, the lip of the 500, which will allow you to glide over here and then you glide back down again. And then pull yourself right back up. Here it's not too bad because you have these things to push you back up. So if you are too low, it won't really matter because you get pushed back to maximum height. Here, you don't really need to move up or down really at this point. So you're flying straight, go down a tiny bit here, and then another little bit here, and then a tiny little bit more. Do not go down all the way because you need to make sure you are level so you can fly back up. And this is the tricky part. So grab this one, get the edge of this one, tap this one on the edge, and then this one as well, make sure you just get it. You're basically just grabbing these. And then this one, you go down as close as you can to the top, pull yourself back up, grab the edge of this one and immediately head right. You should just have enough height to land on these. So I just make it here. Just. So my chocobo's head just caught that one. So that's how those ones are quite easy to do. They can be quite tricky at the end of that one, but hopefully this guide has been helpful. If it has, leave a like, share the video, subscribe to the channel, all that good jazz, and yeah, maybe I'll see you guys on a stream. Bye-bye.